Hello, Dr. Christopher Love here, Water Smart Coordinator for Life Saving Society Manitoba. Welcome to the first in a series of video presentations on water safety for English as additional language learners. We have a series of topics we are going to go through, starting with the Life Saving Society, the organization I work for. We will also talk about some drowning facts. How do people get hurt around the water? We will talk about supervision. Water smart safety tips. How you and your family can stay safe around the water. How to save someone. If you see someone in trouble, how do you help? And finally, we will give you the option to contact us if you have any questions or did not understand. I am from the Life Saving Society. We are a national organization with thousands of members all working together to teach water safety. Our mission, we prevent drownings and water-related injuries. We do this in two ways. Program education is teaching people how to swim, training swimming instructors, and training lifeguards. Public education is what I am doing right now, teaching everyone how to be safe in and around the water. Some drowning facts. Before I switch the slide, do you know what is drowning? At the bottom, drowning is when your mouth and your nose are under the water and you cannot breathe. When we swim, we can bring our head up and breathe. When we are drowning, we cannot get our head out to breathe. How many people die from drowning in Canada every year? It's approximately 450 people who die from drowning every year in Canada. We think that is far too many people. Who do you think is most at risk to drown? Or, who drowns the most? Did anyone guess small children age 1 to 4? In Manitoba, we are the child drowning capital of Canada. We have the largest percentage number of children 1 to 4 dying. This is not good. Another at-risk group is young men ages 18 to 34. They are what we call risk takers. They do dangerous things. Some people might even say dumb. Where do these people drown? The number one place in Canada is lakes and ponds. Not in Manitoba, but we have many, many large lakes where you can have lots of fun 
but if you do not pay attention, it can be dangerous. This picture is from Winnipeg. Does anyone know where it is? If you said Assiniboine Park, the duck pond, you would be right. This is a very shallow pond. On me, it only comes up to about my knees. Water does not have to be deep to be dangerous. The number two place in Canada where people get injured or drown is in rivers. We have many, many rivers in Manitoba. Where else do you think people drown? You can write down your guesses if you want. The number three place in Manitoba where people end up drowning is ditches. You can see in this picture, there's lots of white water. The water is moving fast through the ditch. If someone, like a child, or an adult fell in, they could be in trouble very, very fast. It would also be dangerous if you were driving and your car went off the road into the ditch. You could be underwater. Did anyone guess bathtubs? Bathtubs are a dangerous location where people drown every year. Who do you think? If you said small children or seniors, older adults, you would be right. But anyone could slip and hit their head in the bathtub or end up face down. Pools. Public pools are very, very safe, but people do get into trouble in backyard pools. Always pay attention, and if you go to a public pool, listen to the lifeguard. Wells. We don't have many wells in Winnipeg, but around Manitoba there are many places with wells. In fact, not that many years ago, there was a 13-year-old girl who visited a farm and fell down a well and unfortunately drowned. If you are walking around, if you know there is a well, make sure you are paying close attention. You don't want to fall in. Every year in Canada, about 10% of all of our drowning deaths, or about 45 deaths, happen in vehicles. They can go through the ice, like in the picture. They could go off the road into a ditch or into a lake or river in the summer. If your car goes in, you will only have one minute to get out. You will not be able to open the doors. The deeper your car goes, the harder it is to get out. No one can reach you before your car sinks. You need to save yourself. Get out through one of the side windows. 
A way to remember is this list. So if your car goes into the water, number one, stay calm, don't panic. So no. No. Also, do not, do not touch your cell phone. No. Help, 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 help. No. Remember what we call SWAC. Your seatbelt comes off. You need to open or break a side window. Get out with your children going first. Oldest to youngest. If you have a 10 year old, a 5 year old, and a 2 year old, the 10 year old goes first. They can help the 5 year old and the 2 year old and then you get out and help all of them to shore. Thank you for listening to this presentation from Life Saving Society Manitoba. This is Dr. Christopher Love, Water Smart Coordinator.